Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Paul Morphy and Hart. Game was played in 1854. We don't know where the game was played, but it's somewhere on the planet Earth. In this game, Paul Morphy had white pieces and he played e4. Hart played e5. So today we'll see the game between Morphy and Hart, and tomorrow is the game between Morphy and Kidney. Just kidding. Knight to f3. Knight to c6, defending pawn. d4, pawn takes pawn. And now not taking pawn with knight, but bishop to c4. d6, c3. Paul Morphy sacrificed a pawn for quick development of his pieces. And now not taking with knight. He played queen to b3. Queen and bishop are attacking pawn on f7. Looks like the queen to d7 is a reasonable defense. Black played queen to e7. Blocking bishop. He wants to castle queen side. Okay, Paul Morphy castled. b6. So he was looking at this move. Pawn takes pawn, but he was afraid and white would be too much ahead in development. So he played b6. Knight takes on c3. And he was hoping that this will take, take Sting out of White's attack. This is forking Queen and Bishop. Queen to b4. Knight takes Bishop. Queen takes Knight. Bishop to b7. Black is ready to castle. Rook to e1. Castling Queen side. Bishop to f4. f6. This may not be the strongest move. Perhaps it was better to develop knight to f6, or maybe king to b8. f6 was played. And now a4 looks like a reasonable move. So is knight to d4. So there is more than one way for white to continue. But it uh, looks like this is the best one, lining rook and queen against king and pawn on c7. King to b8, knight to d5 attacking pawn on c7 and of course queen. What else but to kill the knight? Pawn takes bishop, rook is attacking queen, so queen to d7 and now knight to d4 and knight is looking into this very juicy c6 square. Black blade knight to e7, defending. And I believe that we have reached critical position of the game. It is white to move. How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? Well, there is perhaps more than one way to continue for white, but uh, this is the most spectacular one. Exchange sacrifice, removing defender of c6. Bishop takes, and now not immediately knight to c6, because then king to b7. So first Morphy played queen to a6, and knight to c6 is coming. Black played c5, we have unpassant, so this is a very interesting pawn, coming from e4 to d5 and now on c6. Pawn is attacking queen. Queen to c8. Black would be very happy to exchange queens, but he is not so lucky. c7. This is check, forking king and rook. I think that um, Hart could have resigned in this position. Perhaps he was hoping that Morphy would have a hard attack and, and he continued playing. Okay, so king to a8. And now promoting pawn to... Hmm, which one will pick? Queen. And uh, black had to capture with queen because queen was under attack from rook. Knight to b5, that is checkmate. Queen to b8, and there is two ways to continue for white. How would you continue? One is knight to c7. Morphy's choice was rook to c7. And in this position, black resigned. He could have continued with queen takes rook. Check, king to b8, knight to b5, perhaps everything is losing. 
rook to d8 check and check mate hmm that was very interesting game wasn't it and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now